So we're gonna cut the cutter up here. So the seeds of this kind of hard here, when they're hard, you can boil them, they taste very nice, you boil them with salt. And the seeds are also cooked in a curry, you're not using only the other part of it, you can use the seeds as well. The seeds is usually used in a curry as well. So after you've cut it up in those pieces, you can then peel it. The smaller pieces are easier to peel because the skin is kind of tough, it's, it's a little bit hard to peel. And then you strip it, and this is what you end up with here. And these are the seeds. These are the seeds here. We're gonna peel those and cook it along with the the flesh of the cutter. Okay guys, so we have cleaned the two cutter, the two small cutter. And this is what it looks like so once you're done. And we have added the seeds as well, we've peeled the seeds and added it in here as well and the rest of the ingredients you're going to be needing for this katahar curry are here so we have one and a half tablespoon of roasted ground jeera here one and a half tablespoon of garam masala two tablespoons of curry powder three tablespoons of ground garlic one and a half tablespoon of salt half an onion to about three stems of shallot one very very pepper optional and one dried coconut which we're gonna grate and use the milk from that to put in a curry okay guys so let's get started okay guys for this, so for this katahar curry we've added three tablespoons of oil to this pan here and heat it and now we're gonna make the curry paste for the curry as usual roasted ground jeera, garam masala, curry powder and the ground garlic adding water to make the paste So if you noticed we have added 3 tablespoons of garlic in this curry paste which is not usual but for katahar, katahar needs a little bit more garlic, tastes better with a little more garlic. So now we're gonna put the curry paste in the oil there, fry it a little. Now we're now gonna release all the aromas from the different spices in there, it takes about 2 minutes.
So in about two minutes, your curry paste is gonna get a little bit darker, and by that time it would have released all the aromas, and then you're gonna add your katahar in there. We're gonna also add the onion, the shallot here, and the pepper, if you're adding pepper. So it's about two minutes, so now we're gonna start adding the katahart here. We're gonna now add the salt as well. Okay guys, with katahar it's a bit different, you're adding coconut milk, so what we're gonna do here now is you're gonna bunge this or let it cook as it is it there for about 10 minutes or so and then after that we're gonna add the coconut milk in here and let it cook. Okay guys, so we finished grating the coconut with this grater here. And this is, we're gonna get the milk from this to put into the pot there. So you're gonna squeeze the coconut like that until you squeeze most of the milk out of it into the water there squeeze out the milk from the husk So after squeezing out the milk, you're going to strain it into your katahar. So we're going to stir that in right now, the coconut milk into the cutter. So if you need some more water now and you want to squeeze the coconut again, you can squeeze it one more time and throw the milk in there. It's not going to be as thick as before, as, as strong as before, but you can still do that if you want to get everything out of the coconut. Or you can just add some water now, after. Or we're gonna squeeze the coconut again. And add some more to here. So this is the second set of coconut milk we're adding. Not much more milk left in the coconut anymore, but it's certainly better than adding just water. So we're now going to stir this up 
I'll leave it boil. Okay guys, so this got the harvest being on here for about 45 minutes, 40-45 minutes. And the reason why we left it so long in the first place is because we have seeds in there and you want those to boil. So we gotta check the seeds to see. And it's okay, it's, it's boiled a bit there. So we're gonna give it another 20 minutes. We're gonna add a little bit of water right now. Just to cover the cut the hair. And then we're gonna let it cook for another 20 minutes, cover, cover it back again. Okay guys, so after about 20 minutes, since we added the last set of water, stirring occasionally, this is what your catahar will look like. And it's done now. So we're gonna remove this from the stove. And that's what it is, guys. Catahar curry. Yummy, yummy. This tastes so nice as well. Now let me take a little bit of a taste here. Check for salt and stuff. Tastes very nice. Enough salt there. Okay guys, so there you have it. Nice Guyana cut her curry. This is delicious as well. Goes with rice, roti, what have you. Once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Please like this video. Please share this video. And like always, we will see you again in the next video. Take care guys. See you later.